Hi, Paracliff here. Uh, today I'm comparing Blender with 2D storyboarding software like Tumblr Storyboard Pro, even though SB Pro can handle 3D assets. Uh, so why this topic? Well, during a recent First Credits mentorship using Storyboard Pro, a student asked, uh, would Blender be a better option for boards and animatics? Uh, I thought it was a great question, so uh, let's dig in. One of the biggest pains in storyboarding is visualizing the space. Uh, even when I'm doing 2D, 2D boards, I'll always draw a floor plan to keep track of where everything is. Blender lets you build that floor plan right in 3D, uh, and you can project 2D background artwork onto simple 3D geometry like a plane. In our tunnel uh, scene example here, I used basic planes for the wall, floor, ceilings. I got a little carried away, started adding columns and girders, but uh, even simple builds are effective. With Grease Pencil Blender's 2D tool, uh, you can draw directly onto 3D surfaces. It takes some trial and error, but it works. Uh, you can add lights, shadows, and, and color to sell the space. There is a learning curve, even for basic modeling. Uh, for say a location heavy show like Rick and Morty, 2D sketches would be way faster and way more flexible than trying to build all these uh, environments, uh, even simple ones, and, uh, and keep them together. If uh, you've used uh, SB Pro, Photoshop, Flash, Blender's drawing tools will feel similar. Uh, I used my Cintiq and had no problem um, drawing away in there and uh, it, it, it handled the pen really nice. The tools are clunky. Uh, drawing starts with creating a, a grease pencil object. Uh, drawing on a kind of a grid plane. Then you use the layers in there to uh, for lines and fills. And I've seen some really beautiful work done on YouTube. Like uh, people just do this, these beautiful drawings, you know, amazing brushes. I, I couldn't get that kind of control on it on, on our test. When I was using it, it just felt like using an old version of MS Paint uh, than, than Photoshop. I just couldn't get the line I wanted. The, the fills tool is kind of strange. It's got this kind of looping, loose lasso thing that kind of follows the uh, outline of the lines above it. Uh, so weird. I mean, you could kind of just do it in pieces and it kind of worked. Uh, otherwise, you just kind of, I just try to see if I can just paint underneath it. For action scenes, you, you can animate grease pencil objects through space using that kind of a, a guideline and then uh, draw on the timeline. It's fairly good for doing complex camera moves or, or blocking out really good action beats. Creating and managing poses is clunky. Unlike uh, Storyboard Pro's intuitive panel layers keyframe system, Grease Pencils is really hard to navigate and creating keyframes doesn't do the same thing as it does in say other, other programs. Blender shines in uh, virtual production style planning. Uh, for our tunnel scene test, I dropped in a camera for a wide shot, another one for a close up, and another one for a mid shot and added some subtle, you know, camera moves like push-ins and tilts. Uh, just these little dynamic touches were easy to, to, um, to, to make and it made a big difference. Blender's camera system is not built for storyboarding. Uh, you can only activate one camera at a time, so there's no way of, to overlap shots and do transitions like cross dissolves and wipes and all that stuff. Uh, you have to export everything and do transitions in an editing system. Though Blender does have an editing system in it, it's a, it's a very simplified one. It's on a tab, you can go in there and use it. So managing like dozens or hundreds of cameras in one Blender file would be an absolute nightmare, uh, especially if you're, you know, getting approvals and there's revisions, then you get to rename shots and you got to insert shots. I think it would be a, a bit complicated. Blender delivers some gorgeous visuals. You can use real lights, these shadows, HDRs, uh, Grease Pencil has effects like glow, blur, noise, rim light, stuff like that. So it's almost like After Effects. I even imported uh, some uh, Houdini VVD explosion, so it saved hours, looked good, you know, like I said, you can do stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Getting a render right takes a bit of trial and ender, and the render times can be horrendous. Um, I mean, I guess you can just make sure your settings are, you know, something that you works for the animatic, but, uh, you know, is, isn't uh, too data heavy. Many uh, visual effects, like say dust clouds, fire, water, are much faster to sketch out in 2D shorthand uh, in Storyboard Pro than to try to simulate and do a render in, in Blender. My, well, the way I see it is Blender, it, I always saw it as a very powerful uh, software, uh, animation, it, it, it doing previs, but it's just, it's not for storyboarding, it's just overkill. It's not efficient enough for, say, a freelance storyboard artist who's paid for a board, they, they need to output things very fast. Um, Blender's more of a previs tool, it's great for visualizing complex shots for, like, say, VFX, choreography, doing a lot of camera moves, 
and you do this after the storyboards are approved or, or, or you know you know you exploring one scene within a uh, within a whole story but uh just think of it as a kind of more of a lightweight virtual production pipeline there's workflow issues blender updates often tools change frequently uh sb pro has been the same like i said i think uh it's it's always it's been the same since i used it way back in version four and uh, uh storyboard pro is it's purpose built it's, it's made for storytelling one file can hold scripts notes scenes and can be shared with others and directors and teams uh, it's an industry standard uh, and no one's expecting a director to learn blender just to get feedback so you know you can see for yourself uh, the results of our blender uh, test here uh, doing this animatic unable to explain your secret tunnel i detest you leave me no choice but to place you two under arrest <gasps> He uncovered the tunnel, and now he's going to arrest us? 